is to Reiki Mehta. That has been extended to knitting further. So if anybody wants to set up a knitting, you want to make a sock or you want to make a knitted bag or knitted t-shirt, so the power is at only 2.8 and fixed. They have, this they have already declared. So this I am very clear will be given also because there is a subsidy already for power loop. So this is very clear. So this is the subsidy from the state. Now over and above you get center. So imagine setting up a knitting unit. What do you get? Or a textile textile unit. What do you get is 40% capital subsidy. 20 from the regional subsidy. So that is 60. Suppose it's integrated with the existing. If you have existing then make it 5 more. If not, otherwise 60. If a minority, buy more. Otherwise, you are 60. Along with this, everything paid back in 3 years. And now, 2 rupees power subsidy. In case you are drawing power from MSCDC. Big enough. Other than this, you are getting all the benefits of package scheme of incentive. So, there also, whatever sales you do, you get the 80%. Like your 10 crore investment, here you get 6 crores. But the 10 crore also, you end up ultimately are eligible for 8 crores. So, that 80, that 8 crores and this 6 crores. So, you are already getting within. 7 years or 8 years, you are already getting out of 10 crores, 14 crores paid back. <laughs> you only have to make sure that you don't make a loss. You only have to make sure that you are not making a loss. That too with power cost at 2 rupees 80 paisa or the lower market, I doubt it will happen. Only that you have to make sure that your operations keep running. Your product, the product that produced should keep on selling. So that's the kind of beauty of textile and I have not even gone into central. This is over and about central. Huh? Central will exhaust it over it. I am telling you about that. So central policy says, for knitting or weaving or a technical textile or a processing, you get 10 to 25 percent. Like for garment, it's 25. For knitting and uh, weaving, it's 10 percent. For technical textile and processing, it is 15 percent. So almost there is a subsidy of capital subsidy of almost 80 percent. 80 percent is a capital subsidy upfront, uh, not upfront, but within a three years period. And then it's followed with a uh, lot of uh, power and other benefits. So that's the textile scheme. Still, I am very sorry to say, very few textile investors come for us. I don't know why, but that's the tragic scene that we have seen. And I don't know why, but many people fear and I really hope that uh, uh, my textile park or the Ravi textile park or for that matter any new textile park this PM is uh, posting. I think people will come forward and try and do this and make take advantage of this. Because ultimately we are using cotton synthetic, there is a cotton growing belt, there is a Synthetic uh, belt, we have good polyester coming from Indorama, cotton we all know, it's here. So, a lot of benefits. Now, this was about textile. I hope I am clear and let me move on to the next sector, which is basically food. I request my colleague, Gurbani Ji, to take it up. You have called textile parties. Yes, my sure. Thank you, Prashant Ji, uh, for giving me this opportunity to show give some highlights about the food processing sector. So food processing sector basically is a sunlight sector and Pradhan Mantri Ji has, uh, has a vision that uh, he wants to double the farmer's income by 2022. So he has taken bigger initiatives in this regard. So there are basically uh, subsidies from state government and central government. So when we talk about uh, subsidies from central government, there are two basic ministries which give the subsidies. One is Ministry of Food Processing Industry and another is Ministry of Agriculture. So under Ministry of Food Processing Industries, we have one flagship program. This is Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana. This is a flagship program. All these schemes are coming under this scheme. So there are various schemes. I will highlight the prominent ones. Uh, four, are, uh, four among them are the prominent. Uh, the first one is the Coltin scheme. The Coltin scheme refers to the uh, cold chain infrastructure from farm level to the market level. Say for example, you have a cold storage, you have a reaper transport and again you have some kind of infrastructure at the market level to distribute your products. So, we have subsidy of 35% on the storage and transportation infrastructure and for value addition and processing infrastructure we have 50%. So, maximum subsidy in this scheme can be 10 crores. So all the schemes under this Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana are merit based. So you have to apply on the basis of merit, your eligibility will be taken and accordingly the subsidy will be released. So the next scheme is uh, creation expansion of food processing and preservation facilities. This is the scheme open for all kind of food processing industries generally all except for few like uh, aerated uh, water and uh, uh, animal feed also I think so is uh, restricted in this. So 
the eligibility of this scheme is 35% of your technical civil work and plant and machinery. So when we talk about technical civil work, this is your factory building and all the civil work which is required for your plant and machinery. And of course the plant and machinery. So maximum amount of subsidy under this scheme can be 5 crores. The third important scheme under this Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana is infrastructure for agro processing cluster. This in short I call as mini food park. This is like uh, creating a mini food park, uh, industrial park dedicated for a food processing industry. So here basically you need to have two kind of infrastructure. One is basic enabling infrastructure, say for example like your roads, compound walls, site development expenses, uh, expenditures, your water supply, electricity supply and the core processing facilities. So the core processing facilities comes like uh, warehouses, cold storages, laboratory, cleaning grading plant, packaging facility. So this can be, this is a common facility center. This is an illustrative list. You can have like according to your application, you can have your infrastructure here. So here again the subsidy is up to 35% of the project cost, maximum up to 10 crores. The fourth one is the creation of backward and forward linkages. This is just a modified version of coltin, wherein it was coltin infrastructure required from farm level to market level. Here you need to have uh, food processing infrastructure from farm level to market level. So it could be a minimal uh, processing level at the uh, farm level. You can have transportation facilities and also the distribution facilities. So you can have your retail outlets and uh, distribution hubs at the market. So again the subsidy over here is 35% maximum up to 5 crores. So these were the prominent schemes from Ministry of Food Processing. Now the second ministry which is Ministry of Agriculture. Under Ministry of Agriculture we have two departments, uh, prominent one. One is your National Horticulture Board and another is your NAVAR. So National Horticulture Board there are two main schemes. One is Commercial Horticulture Scheme under which we have various activities. Say for example it could be your polyhouse, it can be your greenhouse, it can be open, uh, open field cultivation. So just to give some highlight about horticulture scheme, this is uh, any kind of activity which is post harvest. After harvesting any kind of infrastructure which you require is eligible under horticulture scheme. But your product needs to be horticulture, classified under horticulture. So according to your activity, it can be 35%, 40% or 50%, maximum up to 50.75 lakhs. We also have a cold storage scheme under National Horticulture Board as well. So National Horticulture Board, uh, we have cold storage scheme, this is again 35% of your project cost. Now one thing important over here is, when we talk about project cost over here, they have a standard cost for each kind of activity. Say for example when we have polyhouse, they will have a standard cost mentioned. If you have your cost beyond that, it will be restricted to that particular standard cost only. <coughs> so again the cold storage scheme, we have standard cost on which we have 35% and uh, the Subsidy under National Horticulture Board is credit linked back ended subsidy. Unlike the one in Ministry of Food Processing, which was simultaneously released as you are uh, entering the expenditure towards infrastructure, here it is credit linked back ended, which will be used to knock off your loan. So these were uh, another we have like NABARD, but uh, there are not too many schemes open in NABARD. There is only one uh, dairy entrepreneurship <coughs> development scheme which is open. Uh, uh, we have the subsidy of 25% on uh, various activities. It can be your buying your livestock, rearing and breeding of the livestock, your dairy processing equipment. So 25% of your project cost is eligible under dairy entrepreneurship development. Uh, agriculture marketing infrastructure, as of now we don't have, uh, the scheme is not on, but we are expecting it can be open very soon. Under state scheme, we have recently announced Mukhya Mantri Krishiva Annapakriya Yojana. Uh, this is like uh, all the food processing sectors are eligible under this, but the major focus is on perishable sector. Of course, all the sectors are eligible, but priority will be given to the perishable sector. So here we have subsidy of around 30% of the project cost, capped up to maximum 50 lakhs. So these were the uh, prominent schemes among uh, with the central government and state government. Of course, there are other schemes like uh, uh, state government scheme uh, presently highlighted about uh, package scheme of incentives, which can be also taken along with the central government schemes. So I hope uh, the uh, schemes which I brought to your knowledge would be helpful to you. 
मूवी नॉट लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर आई रिक्वेस्ट शुड बी अ टू लॉजिस्टिक वेरी ऑनेस्टली आई कैन जस्ट आई हैव रिपोर्ट इज देयर ओके इट इज अ बोनस ऑफ टू दी देयर Thank you so much. Uh, very honestly, logistics sector has still not got much of the attention, but Maharashtra specifically uh, does have. Uh, logistics sector earlier uh, did not have an industry status, uh, which has been the development. Therefore, bank loans, none of these schemes were applicable. Bank loans were at the highest possible interest rate, and there was no priority that was given. But uh, last year, the uh, Ministry of Commerce, the government of India, has granted infrastructure status to the Uh, logistic sector, and due to that, uh, credit is now very easily available to any project that you take up, particularly for setting up logistics park. And they have they have defined logistic park as any warehouse with details, of course, on a five-acre facility, which is reasonably small. You don't need to get into a large project to avail of uh, any priority sector. What is a sweetener in this is uh, that the state government has followed up with. Uh, by announcing a logistics policy and have granted industry status to the logistics sector even within the state therefore when you set up a logistics park in maharashtra then you get the industry status so not only do are you eligible for getting loans at a reasonable rate of interest under the priority sector but you also can avail of uh, all the uh, incentives that an industry has in terms of uh, a lower electricity tariff in terms of uh, uh, higher uh, ssi a uh, higher floor area and uh, uh, things like that so uh, 